Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're continuing a new playthrough of Space Haven. This is going to be brutal difficulty. Um, small hope on Alpha 15. Let's get started. So this is Alpha 15 brutal. Brutal. And we're just going to use all the defaults here. We'll see what kind of crew we get stuck with because we can't actually change our starting crew. We only start with three people. We got a really good miner and gunner. It's not the best. We have a guy who's good at everything, basically, except for industry um, and construction. He's not great at And this guy is good at construction and industry. So this is decent. Let's look at their surrender chances. They all have negative surrender chance. That's really good. This guy has weapons potential. This guy has weapons potential. I would have liked to have more guys that have weapons three. I think we're going to struggle in the early game with fighting aliens. But let's give this a try. We have mining five, so that should help us out. And let me make sure, by the way, that my chat is still on top. Here we go. Okay. So we start out with a... I'm like still using... I'm still trying to use the controls from Nebula's Fleet Command because I just played a Nebula's Fleet Command game. Uh, what are we doing here? We need to... Where's Rafferty? Didn't want to be together with the team, huh? Okay. Everybody go pick their... Go pick up their guns. Hopefully we do have guns, yes? We have two guns. Okay, so who's getting the guns? It's gonna be Casey and Dayton, and then Rafferty's gonna be the bait, so... Casey and Dayton will be Team 2, and Rafferty will be Team 3. Actually, the bait should probably be Team 2. You guys will be Team 3. Okay, so... Rafferty's not gonna go up in here. Casey and Dayton... Where's the storage? I have seven pistol. It's weird that it's not showing me the storage here. Oh, that's the wrong guy. No wonder. Okay. Um, clear that. Okay, this is better. So, five, seven pistol. And then Casey, same thing. Now we're going to set this as a loadout. All right, that's going to be it. Okay, so now the first thing we're probably going to want to do here is jump, because there's nothing for us in this sector. Is there any other stuff that we can do immediately? Probably not, really. Uh, We need to get tech blocks so that we can build a pod hanger. Yeah, because all we have right now is a shuttle hangar. We could start building walls, technically, but we have a limited supply of infra blocks, so even that's probably not a good idea. Let's jump. We've got to fuel the hyperdrives first. So those two guys could do that while Rafferty is charging things up here. Let's, um... Oh my god, he's wet. Who was that? Uh... Hey, Hoktpa the Mike. Welcome. Uh, thanks for the follow. Did I? How do I pronounce your name? What's the easiest way to say it? If you don't mind me asking. Okay, we're prepped for jump. Let's do this. Okay, we got two trading partners. Potentially. Uh, one of them fled from us, which is bad. We got two enemies here. That's not so good. And we got a derelict in the next sector here. I'm hoping we can buy some tech blocks from the military alliance. If not, we could be in for a rough ride. Let's see what we got. 
Papa needs a new pair of tech blocks. Here we go. Okay. We're gonna sell three of our whole blocks. Do we need energy cells for anything initially? We don't really. So we're gonna sell those. I think two tech blocks is gonna give us a lot of mileage. Is there anything else we are dying for? We need green crystals. We can only afford one though, it seems like. These guys don't really want anything we have for sale. We're not getting good prices here. Let's sell another one. See if we can get a green crystal. <laughs> they have beer for sale. <laughs> We could drink away our sorrows as we die slowly from lack of resources. Um, yeah, okay. He should be off the hyperdrive. And we should be getting on with our trade here. The MAS Grocer, Captain Kerr first, hails us to say service, stability, and sacrifice. Nice doing business with you. I like that they added that. It's a fun little detail. Okay, we're going to queue up the construction of our very own pod hanger. That's going to go here. I wonder, actually, if we should move these things. I'm trying to think if there's a more efficient way to lay out our starting area here. Because this is really not efficient, what we have here currently. thinking. I'm thinking like if we move these life support things somewhere else we could build a pod hanger here then we could expand the hull here a little bit and then we could move the shuttle bay into that corner and then we'd have like a section where we could build stuff that's not horrible and uncomfortable for the crew. Uh, let's take a look at our crew's likes and dislikes by the way because that's the thing now. Major comfort, feeling energetic and a great move. That's pretty cool. I don't know how long that's going to last. Um... Doesn't say what they like doing, actually. I guess that's like hidden information. Let's just build the pod bay, and then we can always move it later. As we always do at the beginning of a playthrough. Build everything and then move it later. Okay. At least in theory, that's what we do. How much we actually end up moving it is another matter. Okay, build craft. And we're going to jump. Okay, now we got our first real resource income here from the derelict. I'm going to try to get the military alliance to stick around, and they did. That's pretty nice for us. I think the craft, the mining pod builds on its own once we've got... The military alliance might actually help us clear these derelicts. That's the thing that they do sometimes. We don't have... We used up all our infra blocks building that, apparently. We don't have any electronics components. That's not ideal. Hopefully we'll be able to find some of that on board this derelict here. Uh, we don't have anything right now that we can sell them to get more stuff. Maybe we queue a trade just to keep them in the sector. Let's see. Is there anything I can bear to get rid of. It's going to be one unit of biomatter because we're not going to use that for a long time. It's basically dead weight. Uh, although we do need some for an algae dispenser sooner rather than later. So we have no... We've got four meals. We've got one meal for each crew member. That's it. That's our entire food supply. Actually, sorry, with three crew members, so one meal for each. Now we have one meal for each crew member because we have four crew members. That's actually pretty sweet. That's going to help us out a ton in the early game. We don't see any aliens here, which is pretty fortunate for us because it's our first derelict. I hope this guy is not a coward and that he's able to help us out with fighting aliens because that would be a huge windfall. Red and Red Minus 35%. He's got Bloodlust and Weapons 3. Hello, Vladimir. Okay. So we can actually have a proper away team kind of now. One of our guys who had a low weapon skill is going to give Vladimir the gun. I think it was Casey. So Casey and Vladimir. You guys get together. 
and I'm gonna give Vladimir the gun. He's got a secondary. Um, that's good. Okay, and then team two is gonna be Dayton and Rafferty, which is the Dayton and who's the bait guys? It's Rafferty and Casey is the bait, and team three is the Gunners. We're off to a good start here. Got a tech block early. We got people to explore with. A little bit of extra helping hands. And we even have an extra meal that we can feed them. This is a pretty lucky start. Just hope we don't get screwed by the uh, pirates in the other sector next door there. Oh, look what we got here. Okay. Oh, they gotta go all the way around. That's rude. I don't think there's any aliens on board here, so I'm not too worried if that guy split up at this point. We would have seen them by now if there were. Um, we can grab some oxygen from here. Free stuff is free stuff. Okay. Oh, they still have a furniture item that you can't build yet. We need to figure out how to get one of those desks on our ship here. Okay, keep in mind we still have another derelict to explore, so we want to be kind of quick about this. So we're going to go get that. What do we got? Some good stuff that's available for trade. I think we're going to have all of our guys... It's probably more efficient if we go and explore both derelicts and then come back to gather stuff, because we don't want the aliens to like spawn over there. How's our energy doing? I suppose to see how much backup power we have. Slowly building up. Okay, now here's where all the aliens were hiding. Alright, so we got our bait and our gunners. Fortunately, we got a nice big open space in the middle here where we can fight from. So this should be easy, it's just gonna take a little while. You can go get some more... The shuttle's actually out of oxygen, I just noticed. We're gonna go get some more oxygen from this airlock if we can. I'm not sure if that's a thing. These guys aren't in any danger. Unless pirates jump into the sector or something. I'm gonna see if the shuttle will pick up airlock from air oxygen from this. If not, we'll send it back to the ship. So I can like take oxygen. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna suggest that on the forum. There should be a way to take oxygen from an airlock. Um, well, I think we have to bring it back to the shuttle bay. Oh, it did take oxygen. Never mind. We're up to 1600 now. Is that it? Did we clear everything here? Nope. We still got two guys here. So we're gonna send in our bait team to go and rustle up some aliens. Come on. Dinner time. Dinner time for aliens. I should say that because my cats will get excited. <laughs> cats are basically aliens if you didn't know. Okay. Not sure how much 1600 oxygen is. It seems like not much, but we do have a. You know what? Let's have these guys go get oxygen while while these guys are shooting the aliens here. This doesn't take as long as I thought. I think they did improve the accuracy a little bit. Like they tuned it since uh, the previous patch. So it's not quite as bad if you have like three weapon skill as it was before in Alpha 14. Oh, run, run, run. Oh, Rafferty got bit. That'll be all right though.
All right, that's it. That should be it for this ship, I think. Yeah, okay. And that is the fortune's favor. So we're going to take everything on board, both ships here. And when we're done with that... Oh, they're done, with, done for the day. That's good, because it gives them a chance to go back and get oxygen on board the shuttle. Let's try... We still have a trade queued with this guy. Do we need medical services? Eight hours. I'm going to say not really. You don't say he has a permanent wound. Two crawler bites. Spacey fatigue. Nah, he's fine. Um... These are the same guys we traded with before, keep in mind. We need, what do we need? An infra block and an electronics component to build our mining ship here. We could have traded away a unit of plastic because we have no immediate use for that. That's a good value. Not sure where we picked that up. I guess we, that must have been one of the things we picked up in our first cargo grab for the derelict here. That's a pretty good early find because it's like 300 credits that we can get. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I'd like to buy more infra blocks, but we don't have that option. Unless we sell stuff that we really need. We also need to think about water really soon. But we do, we are going to have a mining pot online, so maybe we don't have to worry too much. I'm actually going to cancel this first trade here that's just a biomatter. Uh, for two reasons. One is that it takes an extra shuttle trip that we don't actually need to spend on just trading uh, to basically get nothing. And two, because we can use that unit of biomatter to create food for our algae dispenser once we build an algae dispenser. Oh, we have food in the kitchen. I didn't realize. Let's turn off direct consumption here. Well, I don't think they're directly consuming anyway right now because they have meals for a couple days, actually, it looks like. MS Typhon. Captain Lavhala Stargazer. Let's see. We haven't seen all the slogans from the different factions yet, I don't think. I think we have to wait. No, we can sell some of the space food since we have the fruit and vegetables and stuff. I think we're going to sell two units of space food here in exchange for... What do we need from them? They have cheaper infra blocks. We probably need a couple units of water. Uh, we probably need a green crystal. They don't have any. We could maybe benefit from another... I think we're going to get more in for blocks. What do we need to build a recycler? Let's check. That's our next building objective here. Uh, could it, well, it could either be the recycler or the water purifier. I think it's going to be a recycler. We need three tech blocks and three in for blocks. So let me... I'm going to cancel to redo this trade, so... Um... These guys do have three tech blocks. We're not going to be able to afford this, I think, but let's see how much we can get. I don't want to sell these energy blocks, because they're hard to come by, kind of. Mm. We're going to take the tech blocks in preference to the infra blocks, because we can make our own... I was going to say we can make our own infra blocks, but we can't really until we get the recycle online, which requires both it for blocks and tech blocks, so it's kind of immaterial. I think I want to have a tech block on board in case there's something we want to build quickly, like the water purifier that's like a small device. And we can take the one in for block. You could also give a third unit of food and get another in for block. Two more in for blocks. We're going to save a little bit of money in case I need to emergency buy Hyperium. So we're just going to do one and one for now. I think about it for a minute, guys. This is the hardest part of the game in Brutal Difficulty is when you got you got to make these life or death decisions. Like, do I want to buy one extra unit of Green Crystal or do I want to buy 
you know, one extra unit of, I don't know, food or water. And I didn't actually buy water, speaking of which, so we should probably buy... We're not going to go through it quickly, but we probably want to buy, like, one unit here. Should check who has cheaper water, actually. 60... These guys have slightly cheaper water. We can't cancel the trade because it's already in progress. Okay. That's fine, whatever. I'm going to bring on some more cargo here. But mostly going to be stuff we could sell, I think. Okay, now we got a couple hundred credits. We're going to buy like two more water units. Here. And then I want to start salvaging. What do we want to focus on first? We're going to focus on energy scrap. Because that's going to give us other stuff that we can pick up. Oh, research. I forgot about research. We need to build a research facility. Oh no, we have one actually. What do we want to research? The, the previous preview playthrough I was doing, like, we didn't have to research anything because I did it all by, you know, messing around with the difficulty settings. So uh, I didn't even really think about it, but we do need to start researching. That's really important. The first thing we need, of course, is the hypersleep chamber, because without that, we're not going anywhere. And because we have four crew members, we have to come up somehow with enough resources for four hypersleep chambers, which is a big ask at this point in the game. So we got our work cut out for us here. Trade is the oldest profession, says Captain Lapala. Or Captain Stargazer, I guess would be the proper term. I thought the saying was that uh, sex work is the oldest profession. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if we should sell some tech scrap or hang on to it for when we get a recycler. If we, if we don't sell some stuff, we won't be able to get the recycler, so we gotta sell... I think I'd like to sell some soft blocks if we could here. These are 111 each. That's a shuttle. These are 113. Okay, so we're going to sell two soft blocks to this guy and two soft blocks to this guy, leaving us with one soft block and we now have like 400 credits and both of these guys are going to stay in the sector for another day. So we can uh, think more about our trading options. And we have a pod now, which is very cool. So we can think about expanding our hull, but we've only got one hull block, so we've got to do it very judiciously. It also costs more energy to have a bigger hole, so that's a consideration. If I were to just rearrange the stuff on the ship to make it more space efficient, how would I do it? Is what I'm thinking about now. Um, I think I would want to move the shuttle bay here. It's already in a, I can't overlap with the generator uh, access space. I thought I was going to be able to. Okay, well, so much for that. Hmm. We can move the shuttle here. I'm just trying to figure out how to squeeze out like a tiny, tiny bit more room. We could obviously eliminate the, the walls to the hyperdrives. That would... That's not really going to get us much space, though, is the thing. We could eliminate the... Let's say we eliminated this wall right or moved all the things on that wall to somewhere else we could move the shuttle bay here that would be pretty good actually that would give us like half the ship like in it being actually comfortable so that we could get to storage without having major crew discomfort and we could um I'll say we could get to storage get to storage without major crew discomfort and we'd have a little more kind of flexibility building room. I think that would be pretty nice actually, but the problem is it's a major building project. We have all of our 
resources basically tied up salvaging right now, so... See, we're doing an oxygen here. This is, like, fluctuating weirdly. I wonder why that is. Not a bug report that. The oxygen level display on the shuttle is fluctuating. I, I see it going up, then down, then up again very rapidly. Even though no one is interfacing with the airlock or using oxygen from the shuttle. There's nobody on board, so there's no reason why it should be doing this weird flickering. Let's chill here, and which one are we still trading with? The Typhon. So let's figure out if we want anything else from this military line ship before they leave the sector here. We've got, like, almost 400 credits to play with. And we can also sell some scrap if we need to, to get, like, an extra 100 credits or so. So... 167. I think these guys still have the cheaper infra blocks, though. They do. 313 for the tech blocks. 315. So we want to buy from the Merchant Federation anyway, because they have better prices on things. So we're going to need... This is what we're going to need, ultimately. We need two more infra blocks and two more... One more tech block. That's 219 more than we have. We can sell one of these guys. Um, just messing around to see if we can actually afford this. We sell all of our tech scrap and one unit of hull scrap. We could actually afford this now. I think that's a good idea. We're going to bring on more scrap here as we continue salvaging because we we're only about halfway done, I think. We got mostly this ship done, but we got a lot of work to do over here still. Oh, and our logistics is overwhelmed. Um, this guy's running low on oxygen, but there should be some... There's still some in the airlock here, so we're okay. Just waiting for the shuttle to come get them. And the shuttle hopefully does have oxygen. Yes. The Merchant Federation is doing us a solid here, hanging out in the sector with us, waiting for our business. kind of what they do. Nice doing business with you. I wonder if he's going to say that again when the second trade is completed. Let's see, we got 1.5 Hyperium units in each engine. So we got a couple jumps in us. Service or product exchange for a fee. Yes, that's how trading works. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, we don't need a message every time that trade happens. They probably should keep track of that a little better. Okay, we got some schematic information. Starfare, the apocalypse. Oh, what statistics? I, didn't, I never looked at this before. Um, just fiddling around here, guys. Consumed 0.9. Hyperium units produced none. That's interesting. And miscellaneous. You can select a maximum of eight items. Crew, robots. 
<laughs> oh, this is cool. It's like a graph to, graph of all the different things that we have over time. That's interesting. Oh, Typhon left the sector while I was fiddling around with the menu. I thought the game would pause when I did that, but apparently not. Okay, so we actually can start building our recycler now. I think we want to do this project. Do we want to do this project before we build a recycler? I kind of think we do. I think I want to rearrange this stuff. Um, I don't want to get rid of all this stuff because it's resources that we had to, you know, invest in if we want to build those things again. But for now, we're just going to kind of move everything over here. Uh, this can go on the wall actually next to the pod here. There's already a regulator over there, so maybe we want to put it actually here instead, near the generator. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think this light we can afford to dismantle, maybe. Maybe we just put it in the hallway here. Let's put it in the hallway. Make that slightly more comfortable. Let's take a look at our comfort levels, actually. We're comfort here. This has got light. That's got light. Are the floor lighting more comfortable than the... Doesn't say. Okay, but I think we want to light this up anyway. And then... Leisure comfort. These are both pretty good. Sleep comfort. This is good. This space is not so good. But that's okay. We're, I think we're going to move these things after we get done with this project here. Okay, and then this... I'm going to move that here. I'm just going to create... might create some, like, short-term pathing issues. Actually, let's make that here. I think we can afford to sit here and just build for a minute. Even though it's early game and our resources are pretty slim. We do have two energy cells that we picked up that we got to look to sell. That's like a 600 credits, potentially, depending on who we sell it to. I think we get, do we have to move this as well? I think... Okay, so we got to move these walls for sure. And we can put them over here as well for now. Okay, so now... Where's the shuttle? Shuttle's over there. We're going to wait till they go to sleep for the night, probably. Just to make sure nobody gets stranded or anything weird like that. Dayton, can you not do any research? Yeah, he's working on it. Okay, so everybody's occupied. That's good. They got a full airlock here. That's good. I was worried for a split second because their oxygens were both low. Okay, they're on coffee break, so once these guys get home, that'll be a good time to order them to move the shuttle bay. So we have to do here. We have to abandon the shuttle. And then once we've done that, we can move the bay like this. Did I? This thing's in the way. Um, where do I put this? Put it over top of this power node here. 
We could always claim the shuttle again if we need to leave in a hurry. Doesn't require um, anybody to go out there to it or anything like that, like the pods do. So once... Is it this? Hold on a sec. Did I read that wrong? It's not the thermal regulator that's in the way, it's the other thing. Hey, boom up. Day five. We found a derelict ship. The captain says if we come across any eggs, we were to put f our faces really close to the scene of our self or fortune. Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Um, we're going to put our gas scrubber over here in the hyperdrive section so that we have a little more room over here to move our shuttle bay. That's better. Okay. Now we can actually put this on the corner. And we have one hull block. Debating whether we should expand this area to create a recycler or whether I want to do it over here. Let's see where the recycler is going to go. It has to be within the power node area. So this is going to block me from building a recycler. Unless I... I can't cancel this. That would be a terrible idea. Um, but I think we do need to build some hull here. at the right size. I don't know if we have enough hull for that, is the only thing. We might be stuck moving the shuttle back into the middle. Or the shuttle bay back into the middle. Is that it? Are we out? Oh, we got one more hull block. There was already one loaded in the thing, so we're good, actually. Um, and we should have enough to finish that, even if it's a little bit small. I think it's a 4x4, four four, maybe. Oh, no, this is actually correct. My memory served me correctly here. Um, we're going to move that over one more space, because we can now. Hey, Zulu, how's it going? Good to see you. Also, the official Space Haven Archivist. <laughs> yeah. How you been, dude? Here we go. I don't know why I... Oh, once I claimed it, it immediately decided it had work again. Didn't even bother going back to the shuttle bay. We're somehow short an infrablock. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, because we definitely had enough a minute ago. Been sick, but got some time off work for it. That's good. Well, uh, Bliss9 is sick too, so you're in good company, I guess. Happiness is being too sick to go to work, but not sick enough to be... to... not too sick to be on the computer. Yeah, that's fair. Let's see... Oh, I hope you feel better. Oh, with the Expanse RPG? Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm really, like, looking forward to seeing how it develops. I think the character creation part was a little awkward in the sense that, like, we kind of talked about our shared backstory, which is pretty awesome, but then it kind of didn't really play into the adventure because we're doing a pre-written adventure module. Uh, so that was, like, a little bit weird, but um, I think it's really neat. So I think the game system's pretty good too. Like it's sort of a standard issue D20 hack, but it it's you know it's 3D6, so it's a little less swingy random, uh, which is always good. And it also has the stunt points, which I think is like a really cool feature. So I like the system. We're doing it. We're down to one unit of water. I think we're going to have to vamoose pretty soon here. Should 
should have bought more water when we had the opportunity, I guess. Well, it's not that big a threat. We still got plenty of oxygen on board the ship itself, so... Just as long as we find more water in the next couple sectors, we'll be fine. Or as long as we find somebody to trade with, because just about everybody has water for sale, usually. It's one of those ubiquitous things, the the, blue, the green, the blue, and the water. Everybody has them for the most part, with a few exceptions. Okay, I think we're done in this sector. And we're also out of food, so we need to buy some more infra blocks on top of everything else. So I think what we want to do here is go to another sector, buy our an infra block to replace our mysterious missing infra block here. And then we're going to recycle some stuff and sell it for a buck. We're gonna I really want that green crystal, but we're gonna stop here first so as not to waste hyperfuel. I'm uh, going to have to let my crew sleep a little bit, I think. Where's our fourth dude? Was he not sleeping in the beds? Do you not like it there? What's going on there? Oh, he's in the hyperdrive, of course. He's driving the ship while everybody else is asleep. Poor buddy. Go to bed, dude. He had to put something in storage before he went to bed. That's astronauts for you. All right. Oh, they have a debuff now because they have no privacy. That's unfortunate, but unavoidable. What do, you, what do we have here in terms of food? We have the one unit of food, and we have no other, like, fruit or vegetables, so I think I'm actually going to allow direct food consumption for now. Yeah, so he's got a meal there that he can actually eat. Um, how do I get Vladimir to return to base here? Okay, there we go. I need to go check out this derelict where the aliens get restless. Looking empty so far. Beautiful. Nothing here. Okay. Or nobody, anyway. Let's see what we got in terms of... We have no cargo on board. That's super unfortunate. I think we can afford to mine these things before we go. I don't think we can afford to sit here and salvage. Even though there's a bunch of good stuff here that we could pull apart. Um, because we're out of water. we got to come back to this later. So let's take a note of which sector this is in. This guy here. I have to try to remember that. So we need more scrap. We can come here. Which I think we probably will. This is going to take a minute because we only got one miner here. Uh, they're all acquaintances with each other. That's pretty good, I guess. But he's five miner, so he's actually pretty fast. That's good. guys researching these two guys are slacking off talking which is fine there's nothing else that i can task them to do really unless i want to rearrange stuff do i want to rearrange stuff i think i do actually i think we're gonna move we have some water still in the oxygen generator so we have a little bit more than i thought i don't want to move these things because what i want to do is i want to stop logistics to these two devices so that when they're out of resources they can be moved before we put more resources in them. Also, this is what happened to our other infra block. I think it got loaded into the tool facility. Since we have more water than I thought, I think we are going to do some salvaging here. Let's see if we can get all of this done. All three guys working on salvage and one guy working on research. That's exactly what we want to see. What's our second research topic going to be once we're done with the hypersleep chamber? Uh, could be botany. But I also think we want to get it to industry. I think our standard, our go-to normally is the chemical refinery because that's needed before we get botany. So let's go hypersleep, chemical, botany. 
The other thing we could do is we could go to the item fabricator and we could try to save up resources to make some weapons um, and do boarding actions, but I don't. I think that's very risky. I like that they have more in the crew equipment tree now. Um, Righto, was that involved in you snagging the guy's pistol while meleeing the stunt system? I didn't catch the whole exchange. Oh, um, yeah, the, um, the stunt system is uh, basically if you roll doubles on a attack or a skill check, uh, which is to say you roll two dice of the three that you're rolling that come up with the same number, um, the, or if you specifically say, I want to do a stunt, then... Um, then you use this what's called the stunt system. So based on one of your di one of your three d six, one of your six out of die is called the drama die, and that generates a number of stunt points. So if you roll a four in the drama die and you get doubles in your roll, then you get four stunt points that you can spend. And there's like a table depending on what you're trying to do, what you can spend it on. Um, so like the an example from that game uh, the other day was when I decided that I had that. Uh, I decided that I had found a cache of uh, water from uh, hacking the one guy looking for information. Uh, you know, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to find a data trove, but he's like, this guy had a water in storage. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess we'll take that and use that to pay for new armor for everybody, which is pretty sweet. Um, so that's what stun points is for. And it also has like, you know, there's obviously combat stunts like I do more damage or I distract this guy or knock this guy over, stuff like that. Um, so it makes the game a little more cinematic compared to like a standard D&D &D game. Um, yeah, so I, I really like that. It's pretty cool. Day 8. Had to strip the radiation shielding out of a scrapped reactor today. Doc says we are out of X-Rad, but we have a cargo container of wig that was picked by mistake. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing. actually i'm gonna advertise this a lot widely but we are uh, too widely but uh, we are actually looking for players so you could join us if you wanted to I'm saying this on the YouTube the recording, which I'm going to post to YouTube. But um, so, folks on YouTube, just know by the time this recording goes up, we'll probably have filled all the available slots already. Sorry, but uh, there is a delay on the recordings. I'll say that for sure. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so we're done salvaging here. We have we're basically out of everything except for energy crystals. Time to go to another sector. I think we're going to go pick up the green crystals real quick and then move on to yet another sector here. So this is... We actually did do all the scrapping, so we don't actually have to double back like I was thinking a minute ago. That's politely declined. Okay, that's all right. So waiting on the fiber install. It's getting close, though. I can almost smell it. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a small group. Um, for the, the Wednesday Dungeons & Dragons game that we were, were running... Uh, unfortunately, our DM couldn't run the game on Wednesday night anymore, uh, so we had to move it to a different day, and not everybody could could make it on that day, so uh, we had to kind of break up the group. So, And then uh, we were going to have, for the new game, we were going to have four players, because uh, that our DM is involved in a couple of different RPG groups, and he was kind of recruiting people that had been in another game that he was in, or that he was, I think he was running. Uh, but... Um, one of the players actually had a stroke, unfortunately, uh, like the day before the game, so um, he's not able to play, obviously. This really sucks. I was kind of looking forward to meeting the guy. So 
Um, you know, hopefully, you know, with any luck, he'll recover and we'll get to hang out with him again. All right, let's see. We've got an android station here. I think that's a mining station. We've got to be judicious with our time because we have pirates coming into this sector. We need to allow ourselves a couple hours to spin up the hyperdrives before they get here to make sure we don't get shot at because even a couple of hits can do a lot of damage at this stage. Hopefully so. My brother made a pretty good recovery. That's good to hear. Okay. Um, these guys have water. They also have ice, which if we had the resources to build a water purifier would be great for us because it's way more cost efficient than buying water. They do have infra blocks, which is the thing we really needed right now. So that's good. So we, how much does it cost to build a water purifier? One tech block, one infra block. Day 10. Getting really tired of the company cut back. I went to check the company health and safety fact, and there was one answer. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Ice is a water suitcase, that's right. In fact, actually, I've had some games where I set up a water purifier on each of my ships, and then I just ship ice from one uh, thing to the other, and then I have one guy in the ship doing industry just to produce water, so that I don't have to ship as much stuff back and forth between ships. I like to think that it's more efficient. Um, let's see... It occurs to me that I could probably do that with other stuff too, like ammunition. But ammunition I usually don't have a ton of anyway, so... So ideally I'd want to get two infra blocks here and a tech block. Maybe even three infra blocks if we can afford it somehow. These guys want energy cells, that's really good. We can sell the medical supplies because it's going to be ages before we get a medical bed. It's not going to do us any good in the meantime. Um, which is a bit weird if you think about it. You think like, oh, well, like, I'm just going to set up, you know, an IV next to a regular bed, you know, and make do, but it doesn't work that way. So I want an extra infra block here. Do we need the extra infra block? We don't. We just need the one infra block to build the recycler and then we can make our own infra blocks. We actually have tons of scrap here. We could probably make like 300 credits just selling scrap if we needed to. You are not worthy, say the androids. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. Probably true. I mean, we did betray them in our last playthrough. Getting some energy here. That's really good. And we're getting some infra blocks as a byproduct. And then... What do we want to build? I think we want more hull scrap. Or maybe we do tech scrap because we probably want to have some electronics components on hand too. Um, let's do it this way. I right, to make sure we do all these six first. If you do it, so just FYI guys, it rotates through these jobs. So if you have a stack of five, it's going to do one from the stack and then do the next job and then do the next job. If you want them to do the, do everything in a particular order, you have to queue them up one at a time. Um, it's just an idiosyncrasy of the AI here. Let's see. Four, five, six energy scrap, and then there's a hull scrap. We'll do one hull scrap, and then one tech scrap. That should put us in a pretty good shape. And while we're doing that, is there anything else we want to sell here real quick? We got like four hours, so we could buy... We could make like one more purchase with our 700 credits. These guys have really cheap green crystals. So that could be a good thing to get. But we also have, there's a lot of resources on offer here. It's really good to find a mining station in the early game like this when we're just starting to get up resources. Uh, this is super helpful for us. We're gonna have to come back here, I think, probably. Because we got cheap green crystals, we got cheap blue crystals. We got every raw material you could think of. We got ice. Um, this is fantastic for us, basically. I think what we need to do is buy this last tech block. Did we already, um, we already have the tech block we need for the water purifier. We just have to actually do the, I'm going to change all this up because I want to get, let's quickly get out some infra blocks. That's one. 
That's two. How many do we need for an algae dispenser? That's two in for blocks. So we need three. Let's quickly get out four in for blocks here. And then an energy crystal. And then we're going to do these. And then a whole block. Okay, I think that's going to be a good queue. Uh, we're obviously not going to do that all in this sector. And then I think we want to consider buying this other tech block here. Is there anything else we want from these guys? At this very moment, I mean. We, we need some water immediately to tide us over until we get the purifier on. Oh, we need to buy some ice, right? So I'm going to buy one unit of water. We're going to buy, like, three units of ice. That should last us a good long time. I don't know what we're going to do with that extra tech block yet. We'll see. It's probably going to end up being a cryo bed. Um, did we finish our trade with these guys already? I guess we did. Okay. I should have left that on 4x while the pirates are on their way in here. Vladimir's charging up the hyperdrive. That's good. Okay, I think we got it under control. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of damage from the pirates here, but nothing serious. These guys don't have guns, do they? No. It'd be great if these guys killed the pirates. That would be such a huge windfall for us. But it's not happening. They got a targeting jammer, so they're not even going to engage unless they get boarded. And the cultists are going that way, which is very fortunate for us. Yeah, we're going to do some more mining here. Okay, uh, I said that already. Okay. Let's see. This five mining crew member is coming in so clutch. Being able to scoop all this stuff up quickly is such a big efficiency gain for us. Um... So we got enough for our water purifier, but we really need to get our algae dispenser online before our crew starves to death. Where do we put that, though? There's nowhere comfortable to put it, really. Um, we're going to put that on the bridge for now? Question mark? Is that what we're going to do? What do we... Move a wall segment there. Move a chair that Rafferty's currently sitting in over here. The wall segment is just to prevent there from being an unobstructed message that's going to bother me for the rest of the game. Um, and then we can put in a food dispenser here, I think. And then we're just going to have another corner that we have to cover with a wall as well. So oh, I thought I'd be able to... Oh, that's a window. Okay. So I love the fact that you can build stuff on top of each other now if the graphic doesn't overlap that's so good uh rafferty go do things there we go vladimir is doing the construction vladimir is the one that does all the work around here don't pay him enough all right so this is going to get filled in and then we're going to build an algae dispenser here so our tiny little kitchen is going to actually have some food in it technically sort of There it is. Okay, it is queued up. End of the day, everybody's hungry. Nothing to eat. Sorry, guys. I turn off direct food consumption because if we get vegetables or something, we want it to go in here and not directly into somebody's face so that everybody gets a portion of a meal. Okay, so then we start thinking about, we want to move all of our industry to this side of the ship, basically, I think. That would be good if not for the fact that it's blocking off the hyperdrive, and it's gonna buy, that's going to bother me, too. Um, can't go there because of the shuttle bay. We're going to build up a little more hull around. We don't have any hull yet. we got to wait for the recycler.
We're in the middle of doing the energy scrap. We are. Okay, so we're going to switch around the tech scrap and hull scrap again. Somehow they got mixed up anyway. Four. And we're chilling in the sector because we still got some more mining to do here. Somebody damaged the recycler. Okay, we're gonna have food by the end of the day, hopefully. Um, Alright, as soon as that mining pod gets back, we gotta launch. Do not set the ship on fire. The ship is too small to be set on fire. There we go. We're good. We figured it out, guys. Fire generates free carbon in very small quantities. Can be useful, actually. Although it also uses up a bunch of oxygen, so I don't think it is worth it on balance, probably. Okay. I like how the guy walks through the door, even though there's just, like, paths that he can walk around it. He just prefers to go that way. It's kind of funny. All right. Um, let's see. What am I doing here? I want to move this out of here. We were going to build more hull. That should be enough to put in the tool facility next to the recycler. Stop setting my ship on fire. One of my guys have a... Why is Rafferty, like, half dead here? Starvation. Okay, Rafferty, you're gonna take a break, buddy. Go eat something. Don't set that on fire. What did I say? Okay. He's a game developer, no wonder. Check everybody's schedule and make sure there's nothing weird in there, like a comedian. No, we don't see anything like that. I think we're okay. So this guy... He has food in his system now. He had an hour to relax. We're gonna let him sleep now to recover some health. Heat exchange is pretty lopsided too. Go eat something, just not the vegetables. Yeah, exactly. We can't afford vegetables. Okay, the hunger the hunger debuff is actually pretty huge. I think we're everybody's we're gonna have everybody just take a break and eat. Oh, the um, algae dispenser isn't keeping up with demand here. There we go. Okay, now everybody's got food. I think. He still has the minus 25. He has no food in his system. I think he's going to get the next meal. There we go. Okay, and everybody's had enough to, like, make them not die immediately. So Rafferty's bouncing back. That's good. Vladimir could probably also... He's also suffered minus 90 penalty from starvation. Holy crap, Vladimir. Um, you've got food in your system, buddy. I think you should probably sleep. No entertainment, yeah. I think one LG dispenser can just about keep up with four crew members. Hopefully that'll be okay. All right, we gotta get out of the sector and move on to something different. And now for something slightly different. Okay. Do we go to the obvious resource first? Do we go? I want to see what's on the outside edge here. I think we can double back. It'll be more efficient this way, I suspect. Uh, we gotta get the water purifier online, I think, because we're probably running out of probably out of water on board at this point. I was just trying to solve the hunger issue first. Yeah, but we are out of water. I think the algae dispenser used the last of our water supply, so let's get. Water purifier. That takes up the same footprint as the tool facility, so we're actually going to put this here, and then we're going to make another slot for the tool facility over on the side there. After this construction gets done. 
Okay, we got rid of the enormous starvation penalty that was causing him to set fires constantly. It's pretty good. I wonder if we should think about expanding our bedroom and giving everybody some privacy just to eliminate the debuff. I think we got to think about start thinking about our cryo sleep bed construction though. We've got our basics down. Everybody's vomit. The bathroom's covered with vomit. Oh, that's horrible. They made a huge mess in there because they're all eating algae and getting sick. All right. Um. Actually, if I do this one more. Do we have ice in here yet? We don't. We're going to turn that off for a second. I'm going to get one more in here, and we're going to rotate this around like that so that we can fit two machines facing each other, hopefully. Oh, they can't get through there until this building is done. Um... So the two machines facing each other is actually not working out here because we have to build an extra slot anyway. But this could be enough? No, not really. Let's do it like this then. Okay, so now we got... We'll go ahead and produce five water units. Actually, we can just, uh, we don't have to, we can produce them on demand. We don't necessarily have to, um, spend more energy than we actually need to. Okay, there we go. And then we have our tool facility. We're not building a new one. We're moving this one from over here. Still about 1.4. We're wasting a 0.4 of an infra block, but that's okay because we have the ability to make our own infra blocks now. I think I'm going to put this one this way so that we can have a quarter going out here if there's more. But we're up against the edge of the map anyway, so it doesn't matter. I was thinking we could build the ship more this way, but there is no more that way to build. Unless we expand our hull footprint, which we might do, actually. In fact, I think we'll do that the next time we... Well, no. It's better to keep it small for now, I think. Um, we could even shrink this to a two by one to make our placement a little more precise and make it possible to fit into tighter spaces. Okay, we got the hypersleep chamber research done. That's key. Go eat some... Oh yeah, she said that, sorry. I keep seeing the the chat like moves periodically because the messages disappear after a certain amount of time. So every time I see the chat move, I'm looking over there and then I'm reading the message at the bottom. Sometimes it's a message that I've already read because I am a derp like that. Let's go get ice. And then we're going to go check out this other derelict over here. Hopefully that pirate will be gone by then. If not, we can double back the other way. We do have enough Hyper Hyperium, I think, to afford that. I'm not putting it on 4x here because I want to think about what's going on on board the ship here and making sure we're making the best use of our resources. We got our basic industry machines that we need online. The next thing I think is to figure out our pod bay, our hypersleep bay. Mm -hmm. We could put it here. I really don't want to. We could avoid it though. The thing about putting it here is that it's, like, messing up our main carter layout. Uh, we don't have enough resources, I think, yet for it anyway. We could probably make one pod. Is that right? Yeah. Um, so we, need, we actually need to get two more energy blocks and three more tech blocks in order to be able to build these. And then we need four energy rods. So that's going to be our main focus from now on for the rest of this sector. So just get those things. Um... I'm going to move this oxygen generator over to here, if we can. We can, yeah, because I can walk around that and get to it that way. It's a little awkward, but 
Uh, maybe we can actually face it the other way. No, that's blocking the hyperdrive again. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I say. We can put this here, technically. Does it bias anything? Not really. Um, I think we're just going to have to plunk these down somewhere and live with it for now. Let's try to put them aftward rather than forward. Here we go. Also notice, by the way, that this is backwards. Who put all this stuff in the way, right? Somebody went crazy and built all these industry machines where we wanted to put the hypersleep chambers. So I'm going to kind of allocate these now as a reminder that we, we don't really want to build anything else until those are all set up. Um, i trying to think if there's anything we can do to make them less in the way. We can move them back one. We can move this these two back one, technically. Might as well do that, I guess. Buys us a couple of squares over in this corner. Oh, and we wanted to move this, which is why it's no longer operating currently. So this can actually go here. I say that, but that's not a really good spot either. Eh. Um, do we keep expanding this little node here? We don't have any hull blocks, but we can make some. Got tons of hull scrap. Okay, we're going to make one hull block just to expand our hull that much a little bit more. And then we're going to make two more infra blocks, because I think it's good to have infra blocks around for general purposes. And then we're going to finally do our tech scrap. Okay. And once we have the hull blocks, we're going to go ahead and build here. Yes there and that's going to be where our oxygen generator goes this one over here so that we can have like a proper carter here and we can have like a separate room for the airlock I actually have enough to build this first cryo chamber is that right doesn't seem right i guess we do go figure why is vladimir still in starvation mode go eat something buddy Food's right there. It may be gross, but it's technically food. There we go. Alright, go sleep for like two hours. That was the end of the day. So he's about to go sleep anyway. We'll let the crew rest before we jump here. Especially since we're waiting for the pirates to leave anyway. Think about moving this fourth bed here. What if this could move here? That'll give us just a little smidge of extra space in this room, which is good. Some furniture options that we have. Can we build one of those bedside table things? We can. That might be a worthwhile investment because it makes our crew more comfortable. It's using an infra block, which is a resource we sort of have an abundance of, or we will once we our industry queue catches up. So we have enough energy to make them, which I think we do right now. Let's check our temperature on board, by the way. Speaking of energy, it's getting a little hot on the industry side. I think we might want to put in another thermal regulator. But let's produce the infra blocks that we need for these guys first unless it's an emergency let's let's actually have a rule here oops what did i just cancel for scrap i think it was we're gonna have a rule here that we have produce if we have less than one infra block always and same thing for whole blocks and same thing for soft blocks why not 
since we're just doing like the minimum that we need right now. So this is gonna go over to here with his friends. I think I'm gonna move these back a square. I want to be able to partition this ship into two sections. So I'm actually going to move this up one. So for damage control purposes, we could split the ship into basically two main areas, the big open section. Okay, and these guys are working again, so we should jump. Oh, everybody's pretty occupied. Did we get rid of the pirates? Let's check. Pirates are still there. Oh, we're surrounded. We got pirates at one side and cultists on the other. How many jumps do we have? Ten. We're gonna wait in hyperspace. Okay, the pirates moved. Good for us. I'm tempted to go. Day 13, supply requests, 14 red shirts, 14 body bags, 14 last will and testament, do-it-yourself kits. That's too rich for my blood. We've only got four red shirts here. I'm gonna go do this one first because it's closer to the cultists. Although I risk getting trapped in between the cultists and the pirates, but I think it'll work out for us. Now let's um see if we can make our ship smaller. There we go. Beautiful. So we just made our ship a little bit easier to fit into tight spaces and we can build a big ship later. That's so cool that they have that feature now. All right, and let's go check out our loot. What shall we say, future loot. Looks like there's not much here. Got some stuff that we can salvage and that's about it. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay. I take it back. I take it back. I'm sorry, ACS Marcinat. I spoke out of turn. I didn't mean to insult you like that. Uh, we have a green crystal, two blue crystals, two energy cells, and two fertilizer. This is a fantastic find for us. Because that means we could start thinking about... Where's this guy going? That was weird. Uh, what I was going to say is we can start thinking about having grow beds um, with our initial chemical resources that we got there. And we can start salvaging all this stuff as well. I'm trying to think how much we how much time we should actually spend salvaging. We probably i mean the whole scraps are going to be turned into whole box which we can sell for like 180 credits a piece usually 160 180 something like that so that's not the worst thing to have a whole bunch of those and it enables us to expand our ship whenever we need which is also really good we're gonna we gotta remember to keep money for or to save up money for buying tech box and energy rods let's make sure we got something cute here we're still working on the tech scrap when the tech scrap is done, we're going to do another four units of whole scrap. It's got an accident, but it's in space, so it's fine. Dayton is starving. Oh, so let me... Um... Why did I shift this from here to there? I don't remember what the rationale was there. Something about compartmentalizing. Oh, because I needed to fit a wall in between here and the reactor. That's why. That's what it was. Okay, so it's going to be like... I actually think I want to rotate these around the other way. So it's going to be... I'm not building this now because walls are expensive. 
but I just want to kind of block out what the layout is going to look like. Oh, we can't quite do it because this is in the way. That's super unfortunate. Um, we can't expand this stuff any further to the other side because it's... Um, no, there's no more space on the other side. We could actually, if we change the template of the ship again. But I kind of like this 2x1. I think this is appropriate for this ship. I think we're going to do 2x1 with a jammer this game and try to do boarding actions, maybe. I think that's more energy efficient than fighting with missiles and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and we get, it gives us an excuse to use the new lasers and body armor and all that stuff, which I think is going to be pretty good. Okay, so we can't actually wall off these two sections, so it doesn't really matter where we put these things. I'm going to put it there anyway. Be done with salvaging. We're still working on hull scrap a little bit. Seeing one unit of water always makes me nervous. I'm going to bump it up to two just because of that. Or bump it up to three. And then put another rule for two. So many debuffs, just being in this miserable, bare bones existence with all this loud machinery. I kind of wonder if I give them, if I should give them extra sleep time, but sleep's expensive. It doesn't help with their vitamin deficiency, which is the big thing. Waiting for the last all scrap salvage here. I guess we've got a lot of construction and logistics going on. There we go. Somebody's doing it now. Who's that? Dayton. Construction. One guy is doing all the construction. What's this about, guys? Come on. Okay, I guess Rafferty's doing all the construction and all the industry is the problem. We have one guy that has all the skills. I think we should have Casey be our industry guy. But he's also mining, so... So between Casey and Rafferty, we've got to cover industry, construction, and mining. I think construction is more situational. And so is mining. So I think we're going to have... Rafferty has room for improvement in construction, though. I think as long as we have an industry... Industry is probably more critical for our long-term survival terms of our ship's economy and stuff like that so I think it's okay for Rafferty to focus on industry. I think we want Casey to do more construction though if we can um, Casey Rafferty really does not like botany no, Vladimir is the guy that does all the botany Okay, he's fine that this Vladimir doesn't have construction really. Or Okay, so we just we're just bumping up Dayton's construction a little. Or no, it wasn't Dayton, sorry. It was um Casey's construction we bumped up a little bit. Still lower priority than mining, but still high compared to other stuff. Okay, that might be it for this. Yeah, there's technically some hull scrap left, but I think we're good with that. I'm sure everybody's somewhat well rested, that's okay. I wonder if we should suspend research until we get to the second sector. It's probably not worth it, because the research takes a long time. we got to think about getting an experimental workbench at some point, so we can get ahead of the energy industry curve. Although it's not as big a deal as it was in uh, previous, what was it, Alpha 13? Before they introduced the new energy system. Okay. Usually we're going for an opening in preference to the airlock so that we have some room to maneuver. 
and keep our crew out of harm's way. And we do see some aliens on board. I'm gonna go open some doors. Okay, one down. I'm gonna try to... Let's go to 1x. I don't want anybody to get bitten. Now we're gonna have... Casey here. Um, there's nobody in this room, but we can open that door anyway. Oh, it looks like you found the book of them there. I wish there was a window here. I know there's like three aliens in that room. Come on, guys. Come on, get me. Okay, that's better. Oh, they bit Casey. Don't bite Casey. They have him go over there and then come up with this way. Need to find more pistols. Uh, Vladimir, don't get bit. Oh, danger. There's so many of them. They're little guys, but there's a lot of them. I thought the fourth crew member was going to be super helpful for clearing derelicts, but... Well, actually, I guess he's one of the weapons guys, because he's got a better weapon skill than our one of our starting crew members, so... He is actually helping us a lot, even though we're, we've only got two pistols. So we're not doing, like, optimal... We're not having optimal usage of our crew here. have to go back to the shuttle and get oxygen at some point, but we're not there yet. Oh, where are you going, buddy? There we go. Okay, it looks like engineering is clear. If we can call that engineering. Presumably. Make sure there's nobody in the back corner here. And we're going to move these guys up a little bit. Let's have everybody get more oxygen, actually. There is more on the other end of the ship, but in case we run into more aliens and have to take some time to fight them, I'm going to make sure that we're prepared. I think we can just speed clear at this point. We'll be a little bit careful opening this. Oh, there's another guy. by me. Okay, good. Alright, we did it. Okay, we got... Ooh, food. Look at that. We got some veggies, some meat, some vat meat, and some mystery meat. And we got a couple soft locks to boot. All right. Sweet deal. And we can pick up some more noble medals while we're here as well.
All right, I think we're going to wrap up our episode of Space Haven there. Uh, folks that are watching on Twitch, stick around for a minute. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And I will see you next time. Take it easy. Mystery meets too. Yums. That'll be our, our treat for next time. We'll get to, Our crew will get to eat mystery meat for the first time. Um, here we go.